Yo guys, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different. We are going to be doing some player commentaries. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to say a big thanks to all the new followers on Twitter. We're nearly at the 600 mark, which is great. And thank you to all the new subs on YouTube. We just hit 127 last time I checked. And we're on the road to 250. So if you're watching this one, guys, or if you're watching any of the last ones and you enjoyed the content, please, 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 do smash that sub button and head over to the Twitter page and follow us on there because I put lots of clips and stuff on there which I don't put on YouTube. But yeah, peace out guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Here we go guys, I'm going to do some player commentaries today. Let's see who we can find. I'm literally just going to throw myself straight off the cliff. And let's see who we get straight away. We are dead. <clears throat> Let's see who we get. Tony33610. Come on down, my man. Let's see what he's up to. He's packing a purple heavy pump straight away. That's pretty good. 33 wood. Oh, he's rocking the Santa skin. And a little doggy. Oh, he's got a little doggy. Oh, he's just lining up his shot. He does, decides not to take it for some reason. Tony336 decides he needs to get a little bit closer range with the heavy pump. Which is a very wise decision, to be fair. But he can't quite figure out how to get under that ramp. Can't quite figure out how to get up there. He doesn't quite know how to use his build button. All he does, he's finally put a ramp down. Doesn't quite know where this other player is. He's trying to bug you. Tony336. Oh, wallops him with a 105. First kill of the game. Picks up a purple P90 for his troubles as well. Tony33610. Off to a flying star. He keeps gets his pickaxe out to so make make short use of that wood. He has now got a gold scar as well. So a purple heavy pump, a purple P90, a gold he a gold scar is going to serve him pretty well for the remainder of this game. Still 62 people left in the lobby. I'm pretty sure Tony33610 could take out half of them easy with this loadout. Very slow to put that floor down hasn't quite figured out where that R1 button compared to them ramps, them ramps are super quick, hasn't quite figured out how to do the floors yet with the R1 I don't think Tony uh, 33610 but here he is going to continue to loot doesn't really need any more loot to be honest with a loadout like that could use some more shield, only on only on 150 health, it takes him a while to, to, to do anything it seems to be quite stop start old Tony here not quite sure what he's doing. Gets a jump in there just for good measure. As everyone knows, jumping is a key factor in this game. Um, can't quite jump up there, but it's figured out. Gets on the gets on the tires. Um, let's see where he goes. He's going down low. Gonna carry on looting. Break that wall. No, no need to walk through the doors. Just just break that wall. Simple as that. Got the chest, and he gets a slurp out of that chest, which is. Very good for Tony. Gonna, gonna drink that down. Get him up to 100, 100. Get rid of that fridge. Hates that fridge. Get rid of, get rid of all this kitchen. Don't like any of that kitchen, to be fair, old Tony. Redecorating. He's doing at the minute. Grand job. Hates that tree. Bit of landscaping for you as well. Clearing out the view from the, for that front drive where the, where their car is. Very nice of Tony there. He has actually got two people watching Tony because they. I think the other guy realises that Tony is about to go in and clear out this whole lobby. Decides to jump on the chair. Not quite sure why he's got in that little corner. Still looting up. Still getting all these chests from Mexico. A very, a very lucrative chest spawns in uh, in old Mexico. Picks up a double scar because you know why not? Why wouldn't you pick up a two scars if you can? Gets a few jumps in there. Lo loves jumping on the spot tone without moving anywhere. Just checking that gun out. Checking the, the purple scar out over the gold scar. The dog doesn't quite know what he's doing. But, oh, he starts moving again. Oh, yeah, just a little desk pop there from Tony. Just to make sure the P90's working well. Walks around in a circle to make sure he's collected all of that loot. 
And let's see where he's going to go now. Oh, we can hear someone on a hoverboard right next to him. He's, he's got these ramps down. Go on a hoverboard right there, folks. Oh, wild shots with a P90. Can't quite connect the video. Gets a few good tags on him there, but the guy is off on his drift. Why not? Running down the middle of the road now of Old Mexico. Old ha Highway 42. This one. Sees the chest in the back of the truck. Going to jump on up in there. Gonna gonna pick that one up. Oh, gold minigun. Will he decide to take that with him over a double scar? He does decide to take that, but he does not drop the double scar. Because why would you? What's better than one scar? Two scars. And uh, that's that's exactly what Tony's going for here. And it, I would have probably picked those minis up, but Tony decides it against it. He knows that the ne next person he kills would give him 50 health. 50 See shield. if he can find... Oh, he does not like the look of that balloon. Tony hates balloons, hates surprise parties, because one time his, uh, his girlfriend threw him a surprise party, and um, it didn't go down well. He ended up punching her in the face. So, um, yeah, he, he is not a fan of surprises. Um, now... I'm not condoning violence against your other halves, by the way. It's, I'm just saying, surprises can be very difficult sometimes, especially if you don't know they're coming. So it wasn't really a punch. It was more of a, you know, it was more of a, more of a high five to the face. Um, but they moved on. Still married to this day, old Tony. So um, good luck to him. Good luck to him. Just no more surprise. Surprise birthdays, I would probably say, in the future. And uh, I think Alison learned she she learned that lesson. She learned it the hard way, to be fair, but she you know she learned that lesson there and then. Tony just taking a taking a quick break, having it in the forest. He does he does like the forest, old Tony. Likes to take a picnic with him sometimes in, into the forest. Takes his dog for a walk. Has a nice little nice little sandwich, cheese and ham. That's his favourite. Oh, he, and he he knows he knows that we're we're talking about the sandwiches. That's why he's giving us a. Little clap there. He knows that he knows that we that we all know he loves the cheese and ham, and uh, thoroughly enjoying that, that cheese and oh, and there we go, there it is, the default dance, absolute classic Tony. He loves a good dance, old Tony. Always strutting his stuff on the dance floor whenever whenever he's out and about. Um, getting getting back to the action now. Getting a, got a little sidetrack there with with the woods, but getting rid of them hay, hay bales. Quite. A, Got quite bad hay fever, old Tony. So uh, any hay bales he comes across, he he will uh, get them out of the way. See, there we go. Getting rid of these. Heavy, heavy pump. Can he get this second elim? Decides to go into the shed. Here's someone. There is somebody in this house. Tony going into the attic. Back out again. Here's the guy jumping down. Doesn't see him. Takes a wild shot. Hits him 96. Oh, and that is the end of Tony 33610. We have moved on to Unit Data with his second kill of the game. Puts a balloon on, puts a floor above his head. And now let's see what he can do. He has got the high ground. Can he get a good snipe off on this guy? It's a burnt, burnt gingerbread man. Doesn't know where he wants it. It's a very wayward snipe there from Unit Data. Burnt Gingerbread, I think, has noticed where that sniper's come from. Going for the early shot, like it, trying to predict that one. Another another guy landed on him. Could be a third-party chance here. Unit Data, wild snipes, nowhere near his target. The guy has actually dropped down. I don't think he's realised. That guy has launched away. He's gone for it. Oh, that was a very close. Good effort from Unit Data there. The Burnt Gingerbread Man is peeking right there. Oh, he's gone for a little peek shot. Unit Data just leaving his head wide open. 2,000 years later. Unit Data has decided to go for it. This is a very risky move. The other player does not realise he's there. He has missed. Can he get a shot off? I think the other, one, the other guy has realised he's there. Oh, he's missed again. He is floating down, he is such an easy target, but no one has decided to shoot him, and he has actually pushed for the zone very, very well. But let's see what unit data can achieve now. He is building up, 
He is building. He is building rapidly. So he put himself in. He's still building. He's really going for this push. Very aggressive play. I'm not too sure about it. And this guy is just missing all of his shots, which is very fortunate for unit data. I thought he was surely a goner there. Um, he's going down. It's going to be a low ground warrior here. Pushing all the way down. He's hiding behind this tree. Is there a guy? There's two guys fighting right there. Can he third party? One's just been cut. That's the gingerbread man from earlier. Good building skills. Oh, the, now unit data's getting third party. And now he does need to move because the zone's about to come in. Uses the balloon well. Shoots the RPG. Misses. Using the balloon though. Using the RPG. Although now uh, he's gone straight into the zone and unit data has basically killed himself. <laughs> yeah. That's all she wrote for unit data. Now we go on to the burnt gingerbread man from earlier. Anonymous. 258 on the seven kills. The guy's got the high ground though. The frozen knight up above him. He's going straight up for the high ground. Anonymous has got some balloons which are working well for him. Takes retakes the high ground with relative ease. Has he got him? Yes, he does. That's all she wrote. Anonymous 258 wins the game on a solid eight kills. Gives him the L dance as all Fortnite gods do. Well played, Anonymous. And that is going to wrap up this player commentary.